All right, y'all. I got two new little toys here. And uh, I needed a new lawnmower. And I've always been the kind of person that's going to be like, gas is better. I'm just always going to have gas because it's just more powerful. Well, I tell you, I had to... I had to bite the bullet and go and get electric because it just makes sense to go along with the homestead and prepping mentality you know if you're gonna use something that's renewable because they got you can get the solar chargers to go with this and I'm gonna get a bunch of tools to complement this with the 40 volt system I already got all the 18 volt tools a lot of them not all of them a lot of them and I'm very impressed with Ryobi's 18 volt line so I brought this home yesterday uh, this breaks down by shoving this right here and then uh, you take these out like that and then you can go forward and it locks in place like that and uh you can pick it up you know take the bag off and pick it up and carry it around like this or you can just simply take it by the back you got to take that bag back off but i'm not i'm gonna use it in a few minutes so you can do it like that to simply uh do it in reverse to get everything back how it was supposed to be and you see they got two locking holes up there and I want it on the... Do this later. Take these up. You gotta have these fully extended. For it to go. And then uh, I'll put the battery in in a second when I'm ready to cut grass and show y'all the bag comes off easily you can tell I used it yesterday it did great and right here it's got to have a bag for this uh, mulching uh, plug so it comes with the mulching plug in there and then you just insert it like that And then see it's got the contacts made with the but anyway I don't want the mulching plug in there. I want the bag. You can get a a side thrower just like how this mulching plug goes in there and it throws it out to the side but you gotta buy that separately. So uh yeah nice I like it I'll uh show y'all this thing in action in a few minutes i did not get the self propel kind because in my experience with self propel it's always one more thing that goes wrong with with mechanical devices especially lawnmowers and this thing pushes and maneuvers so easily i mean i could cut the grass with one hand walking talking on the cell phone I mean, it'd be a little bit loud. The, the blades are a little loud, but it's still a lot, lot less noise, a lot easier to push. I even brought my wife out here yesterday to let her push on it, and she was like, feels like a little toy. But, man, it cuts like a, it cuts like a monster. It, it does well. Now, this is just the first initial review. Not sure how to hold up over time. I've seen reviews of people with them for two years. Look good. I'm just going to be cutting a lot of ground. I mean, you can see. I cut a lot of area around my house. I mean, I got a total of almost six acres here. I don't cut the whole thing, but I cut about an acre of grass around my house. So, a little bit less. Probably about half an acre of grass. To be honest. Um, This trimmer? Wow. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I used it a bit yesterday so much power and look I was apprehensive about this carbon fiber line you can see it's eating up a little bit but I did not feed this one time and that's how much string is still on there 
I mean, incredible, nice. This carbon fiber line is, that's what I think they said it's some kind of carbon fiber. And uh, this stuff really works well. I should have bought more of it. I bought the high-end monofilament type line for it. And I will use it, but I'm going to go back and get some of that carbon fiber line because that stuff just lasts. I did a whole area around the house yesterday, and I didn't have to bump feed it once. So I was happy about that. All right, uh, I'm going to do a few things around here, and then I'll show you all this thing in action so you all can see for yourselves that it cuts grass and that trims grass. I want to get the cultivator for that thing. There's a cultivator attachment you can put on there. Oh man, that'll save me a lot of time in the gardens. Oh man, can't wait to do that. All right, y'all. One of the first things I want to do, I'm going to use the weed trimmer, the weed whacker, because I want to set up these uh, hives right here. I want to try and catch a swarm. The other day, sorry about the jumping, as I'm trying to set up this tripod. Um, the other day, I noticed that nuke right there, I got three hive traps, uh, well, three hives in one nuke, and I'm going to use them for hive traps, uh, bee traps. I noticed the other day, the nuke, where I had it by the main garden, it had a swarm in it, but they abandoned it. They didn't want to stay in it for some reason. I think it's probably a little too small, and the other, the other hives are a little too big, but anyway, uh, just a few seconds ago they had a honeybee going in and out of that hive I have on that stump over there so I'm gonna go ahead and clean this place up and get those cinder blocks and that old ladder that old metal ladder uh, set up so I could put these hives up right here and try and catch me some bees I wasn't really intending on doing that but since I saw a swarm inside that nuke yesterday I they absconded from it or whatever. I don't know if it's absconded or just didn't even come in it. But there was a bunch of bees. I'll show you. I took a video. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get crack lacking on this. And y'all can see how this little trimmer works on uh, this area. I didn't tighten that up, and it twisted on me, so I tightened it up just now. Pretty 
impressive. I haven't even said the line for this thing. And it still has. It looks like the same amount of line sticking out. That's crazy. Right. All right, that was the trimmer in action. I'm gonna go set these nukes up uh, and this hive traps up. First time I built it. All right, both of these came with batteries. This one came with a six amp hour, six amp, and uh, this 40 volt, of course. It takes a long time to charge these in the initial charge. And the weed whacker, the trimmer, came with a 40 volt, four amp hour. I used that battery last night to cut the grass, and I did quite a few passes in the yard, and that thing wasn't even halfway I'm going to use the big one today in the spot and I'm going to put the, the 4 amp hour one in the little holder right here, little storage spot. It only uses one battery at a time but that's a holder. So see how that works? And then uh, I'm going to do some trimming after I do some grass cut. So to start it, 
You need to pull this back. Well, it actually says it just says one push this and then pull this. That's not how you do it. <laughs> Got it wrong. You do this and then you push it. See? And that's it. Man, that's crazy low. Yeah, I'm going to show you. I'll push it with one hand. How the grass catcher work. Very easy to take off. Oh, perfect. Beautiful stuff for the compost pile. Love that. And I used it in the front yard the other day and it picked up. Look how easy that was to put on there. Let me show you. It's all. So you just you bring it bring it on up tilt it up and just right in there and again it's got to make contact with those magnets to make it start otherwise if you don't have it on there it won't run but nice nice look I love this thing I know a lot of manly men have that apprehensions about these electric uh, 
lawnmowers. Everybody wants that rough and tough gas powered macho man stuff. But let me tell you, if this thing holds up, oh, this is a game changer for me on the uh, homestead. I'm serious. It, from what I've been able to use, it's a game changer. If it holds up, and I'm going to try and keep it in good shape. You know, I like to take care of my stuff. I just need the room to store it. And that's the good thing about how I showed earlier. It broke down. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to do a little bit more cutting in, uh, in, the main, in this uh, raised bed garden area. And then I'm going to do some trimming. And then I move on to the next thing. All right, y'all, look how pretty this looks. I mean, I don't know if you can appreciate it on this video. I never know how the videos are gonna look, but man, this little area looks so pretty now. So beautiful. Wow. Yeah. I highly, highly recommend those uh ryobi garden tools it's just the two that i have right now that's the uh the garden tools but from my from my limited and very very limited experience with them i think they're fine i think they are awesome they really have perform the the trimmer the power the trimmer is way just it's it's way above expectations. This is every bit as much as any gas trimmer. The lawnmower is a little bit less powerful, but man, way more power enough to cut grass on a yard. I mean, you ain't gonna cut three foot high grass with this thing. But this, I mean, this thing is nice. See, I'm just gonna walk up to it. And, gosh, one handed. Turn it on. Oh, and it does kind of go, it, it, the motor will go up when it encounters higher grass. Here's, here's a nice cut. Everything's cut nice. So easy to push. I'm pushing it with one hand right now. No effort whatsoever. Hard. I ain't hardly any effort. And uh, look, that's some more cabbage leaves. Let's see what it does to Suck them up. I mean, it picks up leaves. It does everything. I, I gotta watch out. I threw my machete there when I was on the tractor. recommend this this uh this little lawnmower if you got the same application i got you just need to cut i mean my yard's easy to push this ain't no thick grass over here it's just a lot of area and the battery just seem to seem to hold a charge right now i heard they diminish over time but i'm gonna order you know probably six seven eight more more batteries like this because i'm going to get a lot more implements and a lot more tools I'm gonna, i want the chainsaw i want the weed sucker the the leaf sucker upper the leaf vacuum i guess you call it i want the cultivator i want the uh i want shooting uh i want the uh pole saw yeah and that might be it i don't know oh no i also want to get the hedge trimmer the big heavy duty hedge trimmer so I got a lot of things I want to get. So this is how exciting, how exciting. 
if this holds up this is going to be nice I, I can't wait to see how in how how much endurance it has over time all right y'all thanks for watching